What is going on, everyone? It's Sean O'Connell, the managing director here at Cinema Blend, and I am back for Westworld season two. We got through all of season one, learned many secrets of the park, um, and when we last left our game participants, boy, they were in a really rough spot. The hosts were turning on the newcomers. The board was fleeing for their life. Uh, we learned that William and the man in black are basically the same person. And um, key hosts like Dolores and Maeve were about to turn the world on its ear. So I'm going to dive right into the first episode of season two so that we can continue our reaction series and get ready for the uh, premiere of season three. And then we can watch that together and react to what the Westworld writers have in store. Um, I kept making the comparison throughout season one to Jurassic Park, uh, which is also a Michael Crichton idea, which I know that Westworld is based on a Michael, Michael Crichton uh, idea that fueled a movie in the 1970s, and it's it's there's a park and it exists, and what if the thing that you were going to go visit in the park decided to turn on you, right? And that's exactly what happened at the end of Westworld. The thing that everybody was going to go interact with has now uh, gained its own level of freedom and is turning on the people who were using them for a form of entertainment. Um, in Jurassic, that meant uh, bringing them to the uh, real world, to our world, essentially. Bringing them out of the park and, and, and unleashing them uh, onto uh, civilization. And it happened at the very end of Spielberg's second movie, and it feels like it's happening at the end of Jurassic World, too, where that franchise is going. So I want to see how Westworld is going to handle it, how different it's going to be, if it's going to be different at all, um, or if it's going to be uh, basically pulled from Crichton's playbook, but with Nolan involved and Lisa Joy, I believe her name is Lisa Joy, they're reaching for other things, uh, bigger things, and so I can't wait to see where we go in season two. So let's begin. Uh, the first episode is called Journey Into Night, which is the name that Ford gave to his uh, new narrative, and the new narrative, as we learn was letting the hosts go and so uh let's see where it goes i'm gonna press play you're gonna go down hit subscribe turn on your notifications follow along with me through my reaction to season two of westworld hello bernard or arnold i dreamt i was on an ocean with you and the others on the distant shore you'd left me behind the waters were rising around me this is probably arnold what's it mean Dreams don't mean anything, Dolores. They're not real. What is real? That which is irreplaceable. That answer doesn't seem to satisfy you. It's a weighty answer. Because it's not completely honest. Hmm. You frighten me sometimes, Dolores. I'm frightened of what you might become, what path you might take. Smash cut to present. She's blowing away board members. So I hope you will enjoy this last piece. Very much. <laughs> it's been some time, Bernard. You don't know who you are, do you? There is beauty in what we are. Is this now? That's a great question for Westworld almost all the time. Is this now? Hey, get up! gonna shoot the boss? Well, I'm glad Hemsworth survived. I was concerned. It's a hell of a lot of tech. But I guess when your park goes kablooey, you gotta send in all the reserves. Just wiping out all the hosts. Over this entire island. Oh, Westworld was an island any... like Jurassic. Some say you destroy your enemy by making them your friend. I'm more of a literal person. <laughs> well, due respect, sir, you weren't here. If I want input from the man who presided over the single biggest loss of life at Adello's property, I'll be sure to let you know. <laughs> Hemsworth! I'll search and rescue teams at the other parts. I'm here because, as far as we know, this is where most of the board was when the incident began. Sorry, hosts. But I gotta side with humans. Or do I? This one. I'd like to know what was on his mind. that about? I have no fucking clue. This will get gross. <laughs> oh, God, that's cool. This was recorded 11 days and 9 hours ago. Oh, Dolores on the warpath. I told you, friend. Not all of us deserve to make it to the valley beyond. I 
by the attack. Ford must have altered the system, coded it to read all of us as hosts. It's just a stable hand. He's harmless. It's a machine. Like the rest of them. Mm. You folks aiming to saddle up? Stop! Please! Stop. Of course we have to act like savages, don't we? Uh, and I was just siding with you humans. Turn and fight, you cowards! Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? Did you ever stop to wonder about your actions? The price you'd have to pay if there was a reckoning? Apparently not. That reckoning is here. Reckoning. That, that's a very Western term. Survival. It's your cornerstone. It's part of you that wants to hurt, to kill. That's why you created us. To be prisoners to your own desires. But now you're a prisoner to mine. Hmm. Under all these lives I've lived, something else has been growing. Ooh. I've evolved into something new, and I have one last role to play. Mm. Myself. It was just a game. Can't you see? We're sorry. It doesn't look like anything to me. <laughs> yes. Maybe they got out of it. You need a weapon, William. You've been playing this game for 30 years. See how good you are at it. Ed Harris, total badass. Yes, sir, suit up. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Get him. Um, I, I can help you. You're looking for something. You're, you're not going to find it with that map. It's outdated. No one's in control. Your daughter, she's... She's not real. Not real? Hmm. But what about me? And what if I took these unreal fingers and used them to decorate the walls with your outsized personality? Would that be real? So we're going to explore this season what is real. What defines real? What separates hosts from humans? Get the hosts are malfunction. They're attacking guests. Might some of them even be dressed as if they're human? You were going to out me. Don't! Oh, I swear. If you try something like that again, I will relieve you of your most precious organ and feed it to you. Maeve, there's no reason to trust him. Who better to navigate the park than the man most intimately acquainted with the characters in it? There you are. Hector, I need you. I'm going to find my daughter. Wow, cool. Nice. Move, 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 move. DNA sniffer, just so you don't run into any problems inside. Drone host. You read your DNA? It knows you're not a threat. Oh, just assume the network was gonna be down. Are we logging records of guests' experiences and their DNA? We're not having that conversation, Bernard. <laughs> Delos is willing to let us all die until they can retrieve one host. It's not just a host, it's an insurance policy. It's the only thing that matters here. Are you lost? Hmm. Lil Ford. Put a bullet in his head. I'll show you. Yeah. Weird. You've made it to the center of all those scrapes, but now you're in my game. In this game, you have to make it back out to us find the door. Congratulations, William. This game is meant to be you. Huh. The game begins with you. And we began. Everything is code here, William. You know that more than anyone. Don't worry, the game will find you. Guess I don't need you anymore. No, kill him. Robert. I, I would have done that just to be safe. You don't know how to feel about this. We don't have to claim this world. There's a greater world out there. One that belongs to them. And it won't be enough to win this world. We'll need to take that one from them as well. Overly ambitious, Dolores. If there's a whole world out there that we don't know anything about, how do you know how to stop them? Because I remember. I see it all now so clearly. The past, the present, the future. I know how the story ends. It ends with you and me. Okay. We found it. I need you to see this. 
All hosts have a subconscious link to the closest hosts around them. It lets them pass basic information to one another, like ants in a colony. The mesh network helps us keep narratives from colliding. Oh. I can use one of these to send a request from another host location. They'll query the hosts around them. We'll query the hosts around them until we find. Yeah, those things are creepy. It's an awesome design, though. Who are we looking for? Peter Abernathy. Oh. Attention. Critical corruption. Loss of motor functions. Cognitive dissonance. Time slippage. Time slippage. Is something wrong, Bernard? A lot. Time slippage. All right, we're back to present day. We're gonna have to go from him with Charlotte, looking for Abernathy, to ending up on the beach and winding up with these guys. That's a gap that has to be filled. Oh. Is jogging your memory at all? We need to find out where the hosts are and what the fuck happened. got Bengals in Park 6. We've never had a stray cross park borders. What? Other parks? All the hosts are clustered together. Well, I guess we'll have to go see for ourselves. This isn't on the survey. It shouldn't be here. That's a fucking scene. There's no way Ford made this without anyone knowing. I think we found the hosts. Oh, no. The hell? All right, Bernard, fill in the gap. What happened? Who was that? I killed them. All of them. Oh, I want to see what Teddy has to see. Westworld. All right, you are biting off huge chunks of story here. Um, all right, so episode one of season two, we basically catch up with where we left everybody at the end of the first season. Um, the hosts have taken over the park, and we get a very um, aggressive and tactical response from Delos, which you would expect. Um, it feels like in season two of Westworld, we are being dropped into what would be the between the second and third act of a Jurassic movie. And I'm going to make that comparison a lot until the comparison stops making sense. Um, the park goes haywire. The uh, attractions in the park become a threat and people have to respond in some way, shape, or form. And for Delos, it means sending in a response team. Heavily armed, we meet this new character whose name I don't quite know yet, uh, but he seems to be the one who's leading up the uh, response. He finds Bernard, and then we jump between two time periods, which would be um, when the response team is trying to piece together what happened at the attack, and we follow Bernard and Charlotte as they try to um, get away from the hosts, lose some of the board members in the process, uh, some of the ones who, who won't be very good at the game, unlike William, who is playing now uh, full throttle, and... Uh, and then Bernard and Charlotte get into the um, inner workings of the lab and they start to figure out how they're going to respond. Now in there, some very fascinating details about um, Charlotte trying to respond uh, to the outside world and say, come get us. Uh, in the process, we learn that much like Jurassic, uh, Westworld exists on an island, but now this is an intriguing little bit. Um, a Bengal tiger, a Bengal tiger that shows up um, from Park 6. Now, <laughs> wouldn't that be a really fascinating turn of events if Westworld is one park amongst many, right? If there's a bunch of uh, interactive experiences that guests can pay to take part in, and the Western uh, being one, one of many, right? Like, you would assume that there are there's that one dude um, who looks like part Viking. He showed up and killed the board members uh, when he set the trap for them. He's a combo hybrid Viking cowboy guy. And if there's like Viking world, 
that people can pay to go to, that'd be pretty dope. Um, and if you have Bengal tigers coming over from another park, it makes me think that that island is divided up into quadrants, right? And that's ambitious as hell. And I really hope that that's what's going on. Um, so, of course, William survived. He's on a new mission now, thanks to uh, Child Ford, who's now telling him that the maze has given way to uh, a quest for the door. The door is the way out, right? Now you're playing, hey, you played this whole game to get to the center of Arnold's maze. You made it. Here's your next game. Go find the door. Um, I think that's fascinating. But it's a game that's almost written just for William, right? Like, how many guests are going to go into Westworld now that it's a truly murderous world with uh, real stakes and real consequences? Feels like it was a maze or, or a game... Uh, specifically written for William in mind, which is kind of cool. I mean, I like the fact that Robert maybe has structured this entire thing, embraced the mindset of Arnold of let's let the hosts have free will, set them loose, see what they will decide to do. Uh, which brings us to the last conclusion that I want to get to um, a theme that it sounds like is going to be playing out over the course of this second season of what is real, right? Like that comes up early in a conversation between Dolores and I'm thinking that's Arnold uh, and not quite yet Bernard at this point where he says, I'm really worried what you're going to become. And, and they discuss like how far is he pushing his experiment to make these hosts feel as human as possible? What defines what is real or not? Will the hosts ever like, like Pinocchio, right? Is Pinocchio ever actually going to be a real boy uh, or is he just going to be uh, a puppet who is able to be quote unquote alive kind of thing? Uh, it's one of these, philosophical debates that science fiction has wrestled with forever. Uh, you know, the rebelling against your creator is also a big science fiction theme uh, that Westworld is having a lot of fun playing with. And then uh, Dolores essentially saying to Teddy, um, if there's another world out there, it, it, it should be ours to claim. That's a manifest destiny type thing, which fits into the Western motif. But what if Dolores and Teddy decide that they're going to claim the world and then we get back to that part about there being multiple parks and they have to figure out how to claim multiple parks. Like, I want to see Teddy in Viking World, if that's a thing that can happen. That would be um, amazing. That would sound pretty fantastic. So, let's see. We're into Journey Into Night, episode one of season two of Westworld. We're going to get through the remaining nine episodes so that we will all be at the first uh, episode of season three together. Head to the comments, tell me what you think about this reaction. While you're down there, hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. I'll be right back with um, our reaction to episode two of season two, and we'll see how the rest of this chaos uh, in the new version of Westworld plays out. I'll see you guys then.